I'm Dr. Elizabeth Krim. I'm a licensed psychologist and a certified Relax and Renew Yoga trainer. I'm also the founder and director of Moonstone Center. You can learn more about Moonstone Center and me at MoonstoneCenter.com and DrElizabethKrim.com. I want to welcome you to this edition of The Healer's Life. It's a newsletter and video I put out regularly to attend to you, healthcare provider, educator, substance abuse professional, Anybody who finds themselves in the role of attending to the nurture and guidance and healing and health of others. Um, it's an exciting role to be in. It's an exciting thing we get to do. But it also often leaves us needing uh, attention and attunement to ourselves. So I just want to always remind you of that. That's, that's the main th uh, core of our message each time we put out the newsletter or um, the video. I also want to say Happy New Year. It's 2016 and many of you are saying... Wow, I've been saying that for a while. I'm kind of tired of saying Happy New Year. We're knocking on February. And others of you are still writing 2015 every time you write the date anywhere. So I think it's okay. We're all at different paces of adapting and transitioning. And I think it's important for us to be patient with ourselves and patient with others as we move through this. Part of all that difference is part, is, is part of what makes um, life so interesting and, and powerful is that we have different paces and rhythms. One of the cool things about the new year and celebrating it and honoring it in such a big way as we do as we move through the holidays is, is that we kind of hit this crescendo and we're celebrating life and we're connecting and even New Year's Eve and there's this call to you know reflect and, and look at all that we've accomplished, things that maybe we're regretful about, we want to let go of or forgive ourselves or others for or we want to still make sense of. But there's also many things that we feel very pleased about and we're thankful for. Um, and we're, we're excited that we got to experience in my personal life and professional life. I've met many new people, got to move into some new positions in, in different organizations and continuing to write and speak and meet more people and, and include more people in the consultation that I'm doing, both group and individual, as well as the psychotherapy practice uh, with Moonstone Center's team. I mean, that, it's an exciting time to work in the mind-body-spirit approach integrated care uh, with the folks we treat. It's just really powerful stuff, and there was a lot of good stuff that happened in the last year with that. At the same time, we're moving from reflecting to looking ahead. We're invited at the new year to look ahead and as we enter 2016, and we're still settling in, even if it's, only, if it's been a month in, we're, we're still kind of getting used to this new uh, calendar. And there's an invitation there to set new intentions. To set new, to, to look at what it is we want to visualize, what we want to put out there and draw in, what we want to have emerge and develop in our lives this year. We want to see what we want to have materialize for us. And I don't mean material things, I just mean begin to emerge and exist. And that can happen so powerfully when we come into it with gratitude and appreciation and our eyes open with a, a, a stance of hope and looking around and, and, and creating space to receive. The only caution I give in that is that sometimes when we set these intentions, I would encourage you not to set too many. Just set a few that are really close to your heart, that have meaning to you, and then give yourself patience and be open to flexibility in it. We as human beings have a, a very different biorhythm than the, the frenetic at times pace that the digital age and all the social media we may be managing and the emails coming in and the text and the different accounts we're juggling can call for from us. So don't confuse that that pace is the pace that you're going to be operating in as a human. Set time to get up each morning, maybe have a meditation, even five minutes of sitting quietly with no uh, stimulation can really ground you in a way that moves you forward in your day. Just letting yourself do a simple flow practice, integrating some restorative yoga at least once a week. Some of these different things can be so powerful in pacing you and helping you actually realize some of these things you're setting intentions for. We look forward to connecting with you in the new year. I'm excited to see what emerges for me with you uh, and seeing what happens for you as we engage. And thank you for following us and staying connected to us. It's an honor. Look forward to seeing you out there. Hope you have a good day.